Here's another quick DaVinci Resolve tip. If you are moving clips around the timeline and you want to switch the order of two clips around, what you can do is press Command and Shift and then drag the clip that you're wanting to move and it will shuffle everything out of the way as you're moving it along. Now there's a bit of caution to be had here because you can end up splitting clips in half. I recommend perhaps using the magnetic timeline tool when you're doing this so that it snaps to the end of the clip that you want to move it next to. This allows you to move one clip along and just switch the order around, or you can actually take one clip and move it way down along the timeline and have it in a different position, but everything tessellates into place behind it as you go. So you don't end up deleting anything and you don't end up reordering any of the other clips. It's just that one clip that you're selecting and moving along, which gets to where you need it to be. This is a much more efficient way of moving clips around rather than dragging a clip up to another track and then moving a clip along and then dragging the clip back down. I know I've seen a lot of people doing that and it's something that uh, editors when they're starting out will do quite a lot of. It's a lot of extra movements that you don't need. You just do this command shift and then you drag the clip to where you need it. Everything falls into place around it. It can be hard at first to get your head around how this is actually working. So I recommend just opening up a timeline, experimenting with it, and just in your own head, getting straight what happens when you move those clips around. Because at first, it can be a little bit counterintuitive, but once you get used to it, it is so useful, and I use it every single time I do an edit. Now the takeaway here is that whenever you find yourself doing a number of different steps to get through a process, perhaps there is a better way of doing it. So stop, have a Google, see if there is a keystroke which is gonna make it more efficient, and if there is, try it. And then by the time you come to need to learn a new one, Hopefully the last one will be second nature.